Shortages are created when a market price is set too low. At the price, the quantity at that price, the quantity demanded um, is greater than the quantity supplied. And eventually, what's going to happen to eliminate that shortage is that market forces will push the price up to equilibrium. And so here we have a situation where we have a shortage, and we can see that this is the equilibrium point, this is our equilibrium price, and this is our equilibrium quantity. Um, and this point right here is reached through a process of trial and error. <clears throat> and so typically what happens is as a producer, you will come up with a price based on your costs and putting some additional, um, uh, added some additional price on there so that you can make a profit. Um, but sometimes, even at that, um, you could have a product that a lot of people want. And at that particular price, this is the quantity that you are willing to supply. But this is the quantity that cons customers want. And so eventually what's going to happen as a producer, you will start pushing your price up. And as you push the price up, the quantity that you are willing to supply will go up. But as you push the price up, the quantity that consumers want will start to go down. And eventually you will reach this price where your quantity demanded will equal your quantity supplied. If you've ever been to an auction, you've seen this happen, um, where they will hold up an item and a bunch of people, when the price is low, will start bidding on it. And eventually what happens is the price is bid up to the point where you have one item and one buyer. And at that point, the market is cleared. They would walk away with whatever it is that they just bid on. Surpluses, on the other hand, are created when a market price is set too high. So at that price, the quantity supplied is greater than the quantity demanded. And eventually what's going to happen are market forces are going to push down um, to the equilibrium price. And here is a situation where we have an equilibrium quantity or equilibrium price here, equilibrium quantity, but the price that was set was too high. So this is the quantity that suppliers are willing to supply at that price, but at that price consumers only want this much. And so basically what we have what we will see is, and you've seen this if you've ever been to a store um, and on the tags you've seen layer upon layer upon layer of new tags on top of it putting it on sale after sale after sale. So they will continue to push the price down until we reach a point where we push the price down and at that price their quantity supplied goes down but at that price quantity demanded goes up until we reach the point where once again the market is cleared and um, at that price they can get rid of everything that they have on the shelves. And once again, reaching equilibrium um, is a process of um, trial and error. The other thing that you need to know is this happens in a market economy where the government stays out of it. Um, if the market forces of supply and demand of consumers and producers is left alone to work um, itself out, eventually a price will end up at equilibrium and all surpluses and all shortages will eliminate themselves. So what we have here is just kind of a final graphic that does an overview where you see here is the equilibrium um, price of $1.50. At $1.50 the quantity demanded and the quantity supplied is 8. When we have a situation anywhere below equilibrium, and I just kind of remember that um, below equilibrium is shorter than above. So the shortages are below, they're the short ones, and then the uh, surpluses are above, so any price. And when we're in class, what we will do is we will calculate this, because what we'll do is um, at this price, um, we'll come down and see um, what our quantity demanded is, and we will see what our quantity supplied, and the difference between those two numbers will be what our surplus is in the same with our um, shortages. We will come down and we will look at what the quantity supplied is versus the quantity demanded. We will take the difference of those two numbers and we will calculate what the shortage is.